These are probably the most common dolphin found in subtropical waters, hence the name, common dolphins. Dolphinius dolphius. We spent quite a bit of time with them with the boat and they seemed quite at ease. So what we did was we moved off, raced up ahead of them and jumped in. And what I wanted to do is try and give you an idea of the speed and the numbers of these animals in the water. It was really a really nice group. These animals are very gregarious and form really big, strong family groups. Generally, these animals will move in pods of between 100 and 300 but every now and again and especially at this time of year you get these massive big super pods that come together and when this happens the numbers in each pod can range between a thousand to five thousand animals a really impressive sight in the water We were very lucky today that the water was nice and clean, giving us some great visuals of these animals as they speed past. These animals for us are probably the most important in the whole sardine run because what they do is they'll dive down, corral a or carve a section of the shoal of sardines off, push them up to the surface and boil them nice and tightly together and this is when all the action happens. Once that starts, the sharks join in, obviously the Cape Gannets start diving from above. So for us they a really important part of the the whole sardine run. It's quite incredible to witness these animals moving at such a pace and for the size of them it's it's no wonder that they, they're here for the sardines and they must have to eat an awful amount of, of food to sustain such power and such speeds that these animals create and get up to. What we also noticed was how these animals change direction and change speed just from a a hidden signal, whatever that may be, I'm not too sure, but obviously something tri triggers them off and in a blink of an hour they can go from cruise mode into flying mode, which is very impressive and at one stage we try to keep up with them in the boat and it was very difficult for us and going at between 30 and 40 kilometers an hour, so... You must understand that these animals really travel quickly when they, they have found some bait or some fish or whatever the case may be. They can really move when they want to. All the predators that we've seen to date have all been pretty much doing exactly what we've been doing. Kind of hovering around in the area 
And everyone just seems to be waiting for, for something to happen, for the sea to kick into life with these elusive sardines.